Good morning. We are on the brink of heat warnings in Metro Vancouver, and there are some across the south coast. Cash Badurka with you here with a look at what's going on from the Wall Centre Hotel Tower Cam. We're looking up to clear skies. It's going to be a sunny one right across the southern half of the province, but it does extend up to the central interior and even the northeast of the province. Today's daytime high expected 26 degrees. Back in 1974, that was a record for today, 26.7. So it could very well be a record if we do exceed this sunset today. 8 p.m. Daytime highs, well, it's going to be hot for inland sections of Metro Vancouver over the next several days, but today is likely going to be the peak of the heat. Tomorrow, even though it looks like it's going to be hot as well, at 32 degrees, a little bit more of a marine air mass. It'll make conditions feel just a touch cooler than today, uh, but not a significant difference. But the province is kind of cut in half because active weather across the northern flank, as you can see, still that river in the sky, not too, too much more rain to go. We still do have some rainfall warnings, uh, but we're looking at an additional 30 millimeters or, or so through the morning. Uh, in the BC piece, it's calm, it's quiet, though it's windy. Look at that, 60K winds, 26 is a daytime high in Fort St. John, 17 for you in Whitehorse under partly cloudy skies. The North Coast, it's rain through the morning. It should be subsiding soon, mostly cloudy skies. 26 in the Caribou in the Central Interior, sun, sun, sun over the next three, and the same thing goes for you in the Columbia and the Kootenai with temperatures on the rise tomorrow is going to be hotter. Today is 33 in the Thompson and the Okanagan. Tomorrow we have a chance of a thunderstorm. 30 in Whistler Village, 34 at lower levels, and finally the capital. 27 degrees, hot for Victoria, sunny skies, and there's your long range from Metro Vancouver. Thank you, Kasia.